slip knot is a very useful type of knot to use, especially when there's a bit of tension on the tissues. It can be created using any type of suture materials, but the monofilaments do make a knot slip a little easier than the braided materials. The starting point with creating any good knot is where to place your needle driver. The short and long ends of your suture material create a V. Your needle driver always goes in the center of the V when creating a throw, always between your short and long end. Never start with your needle driver on the outside of either ends. And now you have a perfect square knot. When creating a square knot, your short end will start on one side, move to the other side, and then go back to the original side on the second throw. When creating a slip knot, simply pull up on the short end of the second throw rather than taking it back to its original side. The more you pull on that short end, the tighter your knot becomes. Once you've achieved the desired tension, simply square the knot back by bringing the short end back to its original side. Let's take another look. All the work is done on the second throw. Always start in the middle of the V. For a square knot, that short end is brought back to its original position, but to slip it, you're gonna pull up on the short end and then square it off to lock the knot back in place. 